Hello Capricorns, welcome to your January 2022 general reading. You are watching Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share because it helps me grow the channel. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee now <laughs> um, on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Much appreciated. Now, let's have a look at you. What we will do, we will divide this video here in sections um, because it makes it easier to understand it and I also get a little bit more. That makes sense? So we will be looking at the overall energy for the month of January 2022 for the star sign of Capricorn before we then go into your emotional core, see what's happening here. So that could be trauma that still needs to leave, that could be about love. We'll see when we get there. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of 2022. And mostly the guides will look at what sustains you financially, if that makes sense. <clears throat> and, um, you know, but we get there. So these are the three areas that I want to um, loosely divide the video in. Well, it doesn't mean it's going to be super long, but it makes sense to do that now. The new year on the begins with a new moon. Well, not directly, but on the 2nd of January, we have a new moon. And the new moon, new beginning, is really, really powerful for manifestation. So, really good idea in the new year to manifest and manifest and manifest what it is you really want. Now, the new moon, technically speaking, is a dark moon. And because it is not illuminated and it takes two weeks to get from the new moon to the full moon, which means light is coming in slowly, the analogy is that whatever is your manifest, right, will likely come in slowish, right? So give things time that you manifest. Don't, don't be pushy, right? watching my cat here. It's um, very loud this morning. <laughs> here we go. So let's have a look at you. Here's the overall energy for the month of January 2022 for the star sign of Capricorn. Now Capricorns, remember that you are <clears throat> governed by the planet Saturn, uh, an outer planet, and quite a large planet. And Saturn literally teaches through restrictions. Right, so um, the over energy here is the Sphinx and the High Priestess. Um, let me just show this to you, because I'm not so gifted pronouncing certain words. <clears throat> so you have the Sphinx and the High Priestess. Both these energies here are about seeing things from a higher point of view, connecting to your higher self. Be in touch with your higher self this month. Really, really important to understand that people have to deserve you, to understand that people have to treat you nicely just because you do that to them as well. So claim your space is really, really important. Also, with the, with the Sphinx and the High Priestess coming in at, in the overall energy part here. <clears throat> that literally means that the guides are around you, big time Capricorns. So they will help you in your manifestations. They will also help you in overcoming any obstacles um, that may still be there in the new year. Um, that's really all there is to say about the, 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 over, the over energy um, because what, literally what the guides want you to do is to, um, you know, <laughs> sounds weird, Bring your A-game, right? Be the best version of yourself, right? Um, and manifest and claim stuff. Dream big is another important thing that comes uh, up here um, because you deserve it, right? So without being egotistical, understand, you know, that you deserve stuff and you just need to claim it, okay? That was the overall energy for the months of January 2022 for the star sign of Capricorn. You're watching Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Moving on now to the next area, which is your emotional core. And we'll see what that means. <clears throat> Quite interesting. <coughs> you have enlightenment 
and the great crystal. I'm just gonna sip of my coffee here. So you have enlightenment and the great crystal. With regards to your emotions, what I do not get is looking into relationships. What I do get is for you to reflect on your life as it were and to see in order for me to feel that I am being loved and in order for me to, to again it's all about claiming here, um, in order for me to claim the space that I truly deserve, I need to have a look at my core in January 2022, right? That's what they say in the Capricorns. Because you have enlightenment and the great crystal. Enlightenment literally in this sense uh, or in this context means for Capricorns that you're never alone. You are fully protected by your guides, right? If that makes sense. And you understand that when you are looking at yourself about, you know, um, so the trauma that still sits inside you, maybe it is time for you to, um, to reflect on how much trauma is there. And maybe it is time for you to get your soul parts back that probably have started to hide because of trauma. So that's sort of what I'm getting is self-care um, because it's not selfish to, to actually self-care, right? So what I'm getting for you is, is that you have a, a literally an innate understanding of what doesn't suit you and doesn't serve you anymore and begin to face this out, if that makes sense. Really, really important. Because the next energy that you have is the Great Crystal. And the Great Crystal is literally the connection to the universe, right? That's the Great Crystal. And that's how I get it. So this is not to say that, um, because, you know, this card represents different things at different times, to, and I get different things at different times. In this context, this is not to say that you you have to walk around um, with a bunch of crystals or, or you have to necessarily do anything and everything you do with your emotional core. With crystals, although crystals are bloody awesome and they are a great tool and great helpers with releasing trauma, the great crystal also means that, that what the universe is trying to do to you, well, what, what that means is, the universe is actually recharging you. They're giving you as much energy as you can take. And when the term comes in, what they're trying to do, um, again, this denotes to me uh, for Capricorns that there might be some blockages where you may find it hard to accept help. And you may find it hard to actually look at situations deeply. And it's time to, again, that's what I'm getting here for Capricorns with regards to your emotional core. It feels as though you try to say to people, tell people stories as to why people have misbehaved or that's because they have abuse in their life, blah, 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 blah. That doesn't give them the right to do any harm to you. So what I'm getting is if you are a person that defends others um, for their dodgy actions simply because they're not in a good place, it doesn't make it right. And it is nice of you to, to, to understand that. And yet, because that's the area we're looking at here, um, the trauma that you still carry oftentimes came from people who weren't in good places. right? And so what the Great Crystal therefore means is that the universe is trying to rectify this big time by reconnecting you, recharging you um, with... Um, your 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 source, if that makes sense, right? So, allow for healing to come in, and maybe because the crystals are here, um, use crystals, and do some rituals with them, right? Um, yeah, okay, dokie. That's all I'm getting for your emotional core. Now we're moving on to the final um, area of this reading, which is opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of January 2022. Capricorns, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for love? Are you ready? So, <laughs> 
funnily enough, I, I naturally seem to sing off key. <clears throat> but I saw in a video uh, the other week that someone sang along to a song on the radio and it sounded horrific. And she said, you know, when you sing off key, YouTube doesn't understand the copyright thing. Right, so that's probably a good idea. So whenever I feel like singing to you, and I'm worried that I get a message from from YouTube, <laughs> you know, what they really do is they send you a message and say, "Oh, you can't monetize this. This is a free service. I'm I'm monetizing shit." Right. So, <laughs> but ultimately, I don't know. It just came to me. It's actually quite funny that when you sing off key, um, the system can't read it. So, I don't know. So it feels a bit rebellious to do things like this at times. Anyway, with regards to your opportunities, there's more crystals coming your way. Ultimately what you have, you have fun and the crystal skulls. Opportunities come to you the more when you are lighthearted. The more fun you have, the more lighthearted you are, the more you do what makes you happy, the more the universe will and can sustain you. Right? So for instance what I'm getting here for Capricorns, and I know this is a general reading so it might not resonate with all of you, but what I'm getting specifically is for people who are feeling a bit trapped where they are working but it pays the bills and you might want to do other things but you're worried because if you leave that job and um, how do you sustain yourself and reality always is wherever your energy goes is where opportunities go so eventually you have to bite that bullet what a lot of people do um, they go part-time and so there is a little bit more energy going to what it is they want but ultimately the universe supports where the energy is. If you feel I have to go to this proxy job, right, because it pays the bill, that's where the energy goes. So it is very difficult with regards to opportunities to show you a way out um, simply because you live in fear, if that makes sense, right? So what I'm getting as well for you is if you are a person that thinks about making big changes, they're right here. Because you have fun, which means you know you 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 have to only need to trust and be lighthearted and have fun about stuff. And it is depicted here by by animals and children, right? There's nothing purer than these beings. So what they're saying is, you know, just have fun, be lighthearted for opportunities to come to you. And here is why they showed me the scenario of um, sort of specifics about maybe changing job because you have the crystal skulls, right? In total, there are 13 of them. Back in the day, we used to have 13 star signs, right? Since we're now following the Gregorian calendar, things have been changed slightly. So we're following in a, 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 um, an estimation of the lunar cycle. So time is off. In a year, time is off by a staggering 16 minutes. So when you feel a bit out of thing, it is because we are not meant for nine to five. Anything static doesn't allow us to align. And the crystal skulls are basically saying that to you, what may happen in your life that makes it difficult for you to, to, to get opportunities coming to you is because you're not swaying enough. You're not allowing for enough space to come to you. The other thing that crystal skulls denote is knowledge and wisdom and that to me uh, when we look at opportunities feels like if you want to make changes and you want to work in an area or maybe a new area that sustains you financially there might be still things that you ought to look at and ought to study or to learn to make you that bit special in it, if that makes sense, because everything you learn, you have, it, it, go, it, gets in, it goes into your toolbox and at some stage, you know, all of a sudden things come to you and you have an answer that many people simply would not have because they don't have your background. So what I'm getting is for you is to be a bit more prepared with regards to what it is you want to do. Make sure that you truly understand um, what it is you actually want to do um, with your life. Uh, but also trust, because you have the crystal skulls, you had the great crystal earlier, the universe is absolutely supporting you with high energy this month to bring about change and to get sort of out of that rut that you may feel you're in, because you're doing this a lot, my guys, which means you're, you're not quite 
aligning enough, you're not quite swaying enough to allow for movement to come your way, right? Anyway, Capricorns, that was your January 2022 general reading. I hope it resonates. Please like, subscribe and share because it helps me grow the channel. Much, much appreciated. And if you like my work, you can now support me financially by donating a fiver, by buying me a coffee <laughs> on, on uh, www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium to Thomas. Now let me say this again. <laughs> buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Bye-bye. See you next time.